I'm back. This is a Blue Yeti microphone. It doesn't work right now. And I believe the problem is it has a loose USB port. It moves around quite a lot. So I see these two screws right here, and that's where I'll start. I'm hoping this repair is not too complicated. I didn't actually look this up. So let's see how if I can just pull this out, maybe? Let me try to get this off the stand. Oh man, I was just lacking in the strength department. Oh. Good. Here's the microphone itself. Before I do too much more, let me just look it up. You're supposed to pull out these buttons. I think my grip strength is lacking, so I got... <laughs> Are these pliers? <laughs> But in order to not damage the buttons, I'm gonna use this claw. I got three out of the four buttons removed. There is some damage I caused to this because it is uh, very plastic. I tried to wrap this in electrical tape to minimize the damage I would be causing, but it's only somewhat effective. I mean, the other three buttons I managed to not damage that much, but this one's kind of stubborn. I just can't seem to get a good grip. That's finally out. Oh man, please don't mess anything up. Just slides out pretty simply. It's bent downward. I'm just gonna try to bend it back a bit. What I'll probably have to end up doing is to get a new USB port. It seems it shouldn't be too awfully difficult. Okay, so I found a kind of stupid solution. So what I did was I cut up one of these just to provide support so it could stay upright. Uh, it is not the most elegant solution. So I actually ordered two just in case I messed up. These are from DigiKey. I also bought some desoldering wick, and I got the one that came with this. Uh, I guess this is like a vacuum pump for the solder. Once you press this button, I guess the solder goes into the tube. Anyway, enough putting it off. What I'm gonna have to desolder are these four mainly, and these five here. I just realized this isn't the exact same. It still has the same arrangement of the pins, so I'm hoping it'll still work. All right, it's been a while. Um, I try to use the solder, like desoldering wick uh, without much luck, but I've had a lot much more luck with this pump. Oh, and I burned myself here. That's, that's nice. The solder wasn't melting at first, so it's either because I added new solder to maybe lower the melting temperature of all of it, or it's just the fact that I plugged into a new socket. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. It seems like there's still some solder holding the USB in place. So I almost got it all the way out. What I kind of ended up doing was just pushing the hot end through. <laughs> all right, now I gotta work on disconnecting this part. I gotta figure out how to get the solder out of these holes. What I'm trying to do here is I line it up from this side and then I tried to melt on the other side, see? And then trying to push through. Okay, so it's not even all the way in. I actually don't remember what this looked like if it was like completely in or not, but I plug it in, the light comes on. I could actually record audio, so I know that works. Another thing I tested was to see if it actually fit back in here and it does. My biggest problems with this was just getting the solder out. Like getting the solder out of this was just ridiculously difficult. I'm just gonna clean this part a little bit. A little alcohol over here and yeah I'm gonna say that's good enough. 
it fits right there. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we're in Final Cut. Yeti stereo microphone comes up and you can see the voice levels change. Everything's functional. This button also works because now it's muted. Now it's back to not being muted. Sound quality is about as good as I remember. This was a arduous process. Now I got some great for voiceovers. I was really lacking. Bye. Mm -hmm.